Let's eat from the Food City Kitchen. Value every day. So how do you get the best food prepared the best way? You turn to the experts at Food City, and we are doing that right here and right now. Nicole, good to see you again. Nicole is the Food City registered dietitian, and you have brought some delicious-looking food, easy to prepare, mm -hmm. indoors or out. Where do we start? Yeah, absolutely. So when um, a lot of people think about grilling, the first thing that comes to mind probably is your steaks and your protein. And as dietitians, of course, we want to talk about nutrition and heart health. And unfortunately, red meat often gets a bad reputation for not being the most heart healthy. But in reality, it does have a lot of beneficial nutrients. Of course, we know it has protein, but also, you know, iron, zinc, and um, B vitamins as well. Sure, and that goes for meat and for vegetables. Of course. We are always pushing for vegetables. You know, we hear the recommendation to get five servings a day, and that goes um, for your cookouts in the summer as well. Let's start with the marinade you've got over here in the jar yep. and in the bowl. This looks like it's got some familiar ingredients. Do you mind if I take it and stir Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So this is just a little bit of butter with some paprika and garlic or oregano um, that I would apply to the corn after it's been on the grill. And a tip for corn, when you put it on the grill, you want to make sure you remove that outer silk and husk. Um, I use a little bit of cooking spray when putting vegetables on the grill. Sure. I like avocado oil for that because it has a higher smoke point. Why after you put the corn on the grill? After, because if you add a lot of oils to the grill, again, it can um, really cause it to smoke a little bit, and we want to prevent that. Got that. And potentially a flare-up as well, so avoiding that. Um, a marinade is pretty simple, especially for... Um, your vegetables, you can use it for chicken as well. I like using a simple marinade, which is a basic ratio of one-to-one -one oil, like an olive oil, and some sort of acidic component that's going to help to break down the proteins in something like a chicken. There's sure. nothing worse than a dry chicken breast, right? I'm happy to see that you put that in a jar. You can put your ingredients, and the beautiful thing about marinades is, you know as well as I do, you can put pretty much anything you want in there. Shake the dickens out of yes, it, and then absolutely. you're ready. To go. Absolutely, and really whatever spices you like as well. I also apply the oil to, I know a lot of people probably think marinate the vegetables first. Certainly if you're doing like a foil packet of vegetables, that works great. All right, so after you have everything seasoned and marinated the way you want, what's the order you put this on the grill? Yes, so... Um, the order that I, I, I put them all on at the same time, actually, I turn it on to like probably medium high heat. You just, of course, want to make sure that your chicken is removed and your proteins removed. If you have a higher rack on the grill, you can certainly put the vegetables on there as well. Um, the chicken is going to take a little bit longer than probably something like your steak or your vegetables. Sure. And Rough rule of thumb, how long for each of these to sit on the grill yeah. until they are mouthwateringly perfect. Yes. So, of course, it's going to depend on the size of the steak or chicken breast. Um, I usually do four to seven minutes each side for the chicken and then maybe three to four minutes each side for the steak. <laughs> what about when you pull it off? How long do you let it rest before you start cutting? Yeah. You're going to want to let it rest for probably like five minutes or so because, of course, that cooking will continue. It certainly will. Will. And you can always add it back on if you want it a little more done. If you let it cook too long, it doesn't go in the other direction. Yeah, Nicole, that's exactly great to right. see you. You can find out more about Nicole and the great things they're doing at Food City to make summer a lot more fun and a lot more filling. I'm Chip Chapman. We'll see you next time right here. And let's eat. Let's eat from the Food City Kitchen. Value every day.